Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us. My name is D'Angelo, aka Darth Mix from The Geek Life, and we're here with a wonderful cosplayer by the name of Amber Arden. How are you doing today? Thank you. Oh, I'm excellent. Good, and good. today I am a Tokapi princess. Tokapi! Nice. <laughs> Tokapi! Very nice, very nice. Oh my god, I just, it feels good on the mouse, so I've just been screaming it all day. Do it, yeah, it's Tukka amazing. Bee, tukka, tukka, and people are like, oh my god. Ah, nice. Because I feel like a kawaii queen. <laughs> there you go, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So I'm always interested to know, uh, what is your origin story for cosplay? How did you actually get into it? Yes, well, um, cosplay, believe it or not, I, I started about three and a half years ago. I studied fashion design and costume design oh, and, and marketing. Okay. And um, I was with a friend who's an artist, and I was just around, and um, and I just went to the first con, believe it or not, was Anime Expo three and a half years ago. Wow, really? And I just wore a Lolita dress. I was just something yeah. pin up, and because I was into fashion history. And so what I did is I walked around the floor and I started to cry because I'd never been in in a con before, yeah. and as a costume designer studying for it and yeah. and uh, seeing these people and how amazing they are and what they do I, I just was struck I was shooketh I'm I was shooketh <laughs> I can imagine yeah <laughs> and then after that I knew a co-worker who was a cosplayer too at the time and she told me oh my gosh I'm a princess I do princessing and I'm like really? Disney characters she does princess parties and I'm like I love Snow White yeah. and people used to joke around oh my god you have like Snow White? oh yes oh uh, and I just used to joke around yeah. and, and do that, and I realized I'm like, oh my god, my hair, my facial feature, or my my eyebrows yeah. were very uh, like vintage Disney-like. looking, yeah. <laughs> Disney. So I just went all out, and I just did a, a small uh, costume for Halloween, yeah. and I dressed as Snow White. I mean, yeah, Snow White. And the kids were freaking out, and I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the next step. I'm gonna cosplay as yeah. Snow White at a con, and my first one was had it been WonderCon. Oh, nice. And yeah. I met, I was Snow White, I met Tracy Hines, yeah. who's an amazing singer and stylist. Check her out. She's one of my senpais. Yeah. <laughs> She's my senpai. And you're here as a cosplay senpai at Anime yes, Expo, yeah. Look, and it, I owe it to her and the yeah. cosplay community that I was in. I'm a, I'm a Disney girl, a Star Wars girl, and I do love, love anime too. Yeah. I, I love, I dip uh, my brushes and all the cosplay yeah. sort of aesthetics and but anyway, so we talked and I modeled for her for her line, clothing line at the time. Um, and I just started to cry. I'm like, I never see myself like this. I never yeah. really took pictures. I didn't want to see myself in pictures. I was very, very shy and I didn't I, I was just sad. I, yeah. I was sad with my life. I, I didn't know what to do like at the time and this is sort of my driven within my soul I, I feel like this is my reason yeah. in my life is to create costumes and stylizing and be a marketer and, yeah. you know um, you do a great job at I'm it too a, oh thank yeah. you very much and I just I try to thrive positivity with people and well anyway and it, I just every year I would make a new costume I would do Snow Buffet which yeah. I, I advertise her a lot because she's the most hardest costume yeah. and I changed her three times I wore her every time I wear her it's just such so fun yeah. and people just start running around and say what are you what i'm a bounty hunter and they flip <laughs> out because they know yeah. they see the sabine from rebels and they know that it's a bounty hunter and it's one of the hardest costumes i ever had to make and oh really all, i make uh, all the armored costumes yeah. are, all my dresses and just seeing a project come to life and um and yeah, and that's how it all happened. Snub Effect was shared on Reddit, yeah. a lot of websites, and I critiqued me. And I learned, I got struck. I got to take this to the next level. Yeah. And it just, it just inspired yeah. me to be better. Yeah. And I just said, I don't care. People laugh at me, they made fun of me, and I don't care. I just kept going. Because as a Disney community as well, we're, um, princess is my thing, and yeah. usually it's a loving community. Good. Our cosplay friends and I, I am friends with a lot of the cosplayers um, now, and we all did it together. Yeah. And we love to mash up the art of the mashup, and I love it that I see more of it now. Like three years ago, there wasn't there was a few, and then now you know because the girlfriends and I and yeah. I we all came together and made mashups. Like I'm doing more mashups for D23. D23! Yeah. D23! Not many people know it's the biggest Disney convention. Yeah, I've heard the hype for it. Oh my Sorry, God. you get me started. It's I go all good. On. You're fine, you're fine. I go on. <laughs> um, so the next question is, what has been your favorite moment in your cosplay career? Okay, I have three things before I die. Like, <laughs> like if, I ex- if I do this, 
One was um, to do uh, more cosplays, uh, another armored costume, which yeah. I had two. I did two more, which is a Warcraft and Stormtrooper model for a designer daddy. Okay. <laughs> and I did, he's amazing, um, work for Disney. And I have nice. worked for Disney's vlogs, yeah. Oh My Disney and Disney Style. And that just sat me. I said, I have to continue this. Yeah. And um, I got several jobs. And I guessed it at LA Comic Con. Wow, Nazi. nice. Because I, I was about to take it a little slower down. But that inspired me to keep going. Because yeah. I do work during the week. Um, and I work all weekend. Yeah. But that doesn't stop you. I get to my costumes completely yeah. right after work. And I keep working. Good. I, keep working. I, I feel I'm constantly busy. Yeah. But it's so worth it because um, the outcome. Yeah. The outcome is what's worth it. And yeah. So, yeah. So that's the best. The best thing is working for several of these people that jumpstart me. Yeah. Like, um, a lot of the coordinators for the cons have come up to me and said, I would like you to get to my con. And, yeah. And I'm like, oh my God, thank you. Because I'm a little different. I have a different aesthetic to my cosplay yeah. and I stick to my character. And, and uh, like snow, <laughs> I love to mash her up. I just laugh when I mash her up. Yeah. Like snow is a bounty hunter. <laughs> snow today is a Warcraft. It's cool because like an original yeah. character in it. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, yes, she is, yeah, she's the first. And, but yeah, like for Tokyo, I love Pokemon. I love it. And I'm a first gen. Yeah. I love the new ones. I'm trying to rile them all in. But I have a friend that's drawing every character. Yeah. And this is dedicated to her, Tam Tam D. This is one of her uh, character designs that oh, I was cool. inspired by. She yeah. actually came by yesterday when it was Jigglypuff. I started to flip out. <laughs> J I, and I, I was like, Jigglypuff, Jigglypuff. Yeah. Well, anyway. Did she freak out? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good. She's an amazing woman. Yeah. Oh, Tam Tam D. Look her up. Yeah, make sure check her out. Yeah, yeah. And uh, on the opposite question, uh, what has been one of your worst moments in your cosplay career? Whether it was a small mishap or something major, either one. Okay, well, you know, there's always a fault, to, um, there are always some roadblocks yeah. to success, and is the it's when costumes don't work out. It's when you try so hard and spend all the money and they fall apart. Some cosplayers, they give up or they put a public announcement. It's not yeah. them, it's just that's how they cope with the project that doesn't work out. Yeah. Or if you wear it and it doesn't get a, it doesn't look good or something like that. That's what's hurtful. But believe it or not, most of the time, people aren't going to see the good in it. Or yeah. you might think it's because you're your own critic. And I think the, the worst thing is the, uh, in cosplay is comparing yourself to other people. Yeah. Because my quote, and it goes to men too, <laughs> it goes, um, a rose doesn't compare the roses around her or him. It just blooms. True. Good advice. It just yeah. blooms. Like you're just a plant. You're blooming amongst all these plants. You're just as good and beautiful. Yeah. So, um, because that, that's what hurts. Like when you see other people, you know, doing something that is, um, they get more creative opportunities or, yeah, or yeah. creative. And you're like, God, I wish I thought of that. But that's why you have to step up and make yourself better or do stuff that you like. Yeah, exactly. You know, um, because they'll see it. They'll see your positivity and, and actually congratulate them on their yeah. success. Yeah. Congratulate them. Don't feel bad and compare yourself because that is not the key. And also negativity brings more negativity. Yeah. So that's how I am. So I just bring all positivity every single one, every cosplayer in this world I respect and love. Yeah. So Good. that's why we're cosplay senpai. <laughs> Cause positivity. <laughs> yeah, that's how it should be for the community. Well, yeah. yeah, yeah, for the community because it is fun, and I do this for fun, and I feel this fulfills me. Yeah. This is my passion in my career. So I do a, a lot of um, like administration and marketing and stylizing for companies and on freelance. Yeah. yeah. But uh, but that's I, I carry this as a very glorified hobby that is taking 80, 90% of my life, which yeah. I love every moment of it. Good. <laughs> yeah, that's like the real sort of background of cosplay. Yeah. That's how it feels. Right on. You know, yeah. It's, it's just like um, costume designers. Yeah. That's what we are. Right on. And a bit of a silly question. Yeah, I know no, you love please. Pokemon. Uh, so if you could take one Pokemon uh, from okay. the first generation to this world to be your best friend for life, who would it be? Oh my god. Hi, how are you? Hi, Kawaii, yay! 
guess I'm doing a quick interview. Of yeah, her. Um, yeah, it took me. Um, I love all the Pokemon. I, I think it would be. You know, I really love Pikachu. I would totally yeah. have Pikachu. Good choice. If Good choice. not Pikachu, I would have. I want Mew. Mew. Okay. He's so powerful and amazing. Yeah. You could totally ride on his back and take me everywhere. And it would be amazing. <laughs> and he's so space ran. I think Pikachu would be the best. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I like Meowth because he talks and I can actually yeah. talk to him. I think Meowth. Okay. He's, he's kind Good of. One. He's kind of. He might be able to make you money as well. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's what it would. And actually, Toki is cute, but I want something that maybe I can yeah. fly, that I can ride. That'll be awesome. Nice. And uh, where can we find you online? Yes, I am at Amber Arden. Um, that's all my social media Instagram. Yeah. I have a Facebook. Um, I also have Patreon, too. I have a lot of fun. I do live streams yeah. <laughs> of what I work because I'm very private. But I love to show the people how the I make my costumes, stuff, yeah. which is pretty cool. And then I have um, Twitter, but mainly Instagram and Facebook. Yeah. Woo! Right on. Well, thank you for joining us. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. I took a pee. Right, see you guys later. Bye. I like it.